Once again, good afternoon class. Uh, the topic for uh, today's uh, discussion is about the reform reformatory movement. Okay? So, uh, in this particular topic, uh, you will be able to know uh, the uh, reform reforms, the efforts to reform the uh, primitive uh, form of punishment into something new, something modern, okay, from torture, physical uh, torture, death penalty, and other barbaric form of punishment and to uh, to change the way the punishment was enforced in the primitive era okay so the early penologists and correction officers officials uh, tried their best to reform that system that's why we have the reformatory movement with that uh, what do you think the kind of reformation, uh, reformation movement uh, in those time? Okay, sa tingin nyo, ano mga reformation na ginawa nila? Of course, uh, very famous, uh, we have Alexander Makonochi. He is the superintendent of the penal colony at Norfolk uh, Island in Australia. So in the year 1840, uh, he introduced the mark system, a system in which a prisoner is required to earn a number of marks based on proper department, labor, and study in order to entitle him for a ticket for leave or conditional release, which is similar, similar to parole. So that's the good thing of, uh, the, of this system. So... Uh, Alexander has a great contribution with regards to our prison system because uh, it paves the way to uh, the modern form of punishment which is now called parole. Okay? So if you uh, want parole, and it also related to what we have now, GCTE, the Good Conduct Time Allowance, we're in if you uh, serve in a prison and you contributed like you uh, you are teacher you are teaching uh, prisoners your co-prisoners or uh, some or you have the technical knowledge about something or mechanics something like that and you you uh, teach them then then uh, then it may uh, deduct your prison term so let's say for example uh, you serve as a teacher or a priest in the prison uh, in the prison facility and with that uh, there is a deduction of 15 days for example 15 days in a month so 15 days so meaning uh, the more marks you gain then it uh, the more deduction you will get okay so that's the good thing of mark system okay no uh, those uh, pre those time during the primitive era walang ganon the fact that you commit crime and someone allegedly that you are the one committing the crime and you will uh, undergo trial by ordeal so if you uh, proven based on that trial by ordeal if you then that's the time that you will be punished by what? Imprisonment, corporal punishment, physical torture, and whatever barbaric punishment that have during that time. But because of these people, uh, number one, we have Alexander Makonuchi. Because of him, na reform yung the way the punishment is enforced. Okay? So that's the good thing of Mark's system. We have the second one, the Manuel Montesin, Montesimos. Uh, he's the director of prisons in Valencia, Spain, in the year 1835. He divided the number of prisoners into companies 
and appointed certain prisoners as PTIP officers in charge, which allowed good behavior to prepare the convict for gradual release. So, uh, yung sa kanya naman is yung mga prisoners, dinivide niya. Meaning, parang grupo-grupo. And every group may tinatawag na PT officer in charge. Siya yung in charge. Okay? Of course, parang GCT then the code conduct type allowance if the prisoner uh, doing good behavior in, uh, in, the, in the prison, then possibly mas maaga siyang pakalaya. That is Manuel Montesimos. That's the uh, great contribution of Manuel uh, Montesimos. Okay, the third one is Domitz France. He established an agricultural colony for delinquent boys. So in the year 1839, providing house fathers as in charge of these boys. So these are youthful offenders or prisoners, okay, or delinquent boys. So instead na pinaparusahan itong mga kabataan, ay pinapatrabaho agricultural colony yung ginawa niya. At doon magtatanim na kahit anong uh, gulay, uh, plants, uh, something like that, animals, uh, managing the, uh, the, you know, poultry, something like that. So agricultural. So that's, uh, yan ang kagandahan din, no? Kasi talagang mababago yung ugali ng bata because of the uh, activity, agricultural activity. Okay? We have also Sir Evelyn Rogles Bryce. So he is the director of the English prison. Uh, he op who opened uh, the Borstal Institution for Youth Offenders. So sa kanya naman, yung tinatawag, tinatawag niya na Borstal Institution, it is considered as the best reform institution for, youth of, for young offenders. So again, this is intended for young offenders, Borstal Institution, established by Sir Evelyn Rogles Bryce. Okay? We have Walter Crofton. Walter Cofton, he is the director of the Irish prison in the year 1854. He introduced the Irish system that was modified from the Maconichis Mark system. Actually, same concept lang yung Mark system, pero may binago siya, modification. Okay, just a little bit a modification from the Maconichis Mark system. Ang tawag naman dyan is Irish system. Okay, Walter Crofton. His contribution is, of course, the Irish system, which is uh, came from the McConnell's concept, which is the Marx system. And of course, uh, very um, very famous in the field of penology, we have Zebulon Brockway. The director of the Elmera Reformatory in New York in the year 1876, he introduced the cer certain innovational programs like the following. Training school, training school type, compulsory education of prisoners, his work methods, extensive use of parole, indeterminate sentence. That's why uh, the Elmet Elmera Reformatory is considered as the forerunner of modern penology because it had all the elements of modern system. Why? Kasi lahat na, na, na programs natin ngayon in our correctional system ay nandito sa Elmera Reformatory. That is why binagsak, binagsa nga, uh, uh, nakuha uh, nakuha na ni Zebulon Brockway yung concept na na reform, Elmera Reformatory as the forerunner. Forerunner, pag sinabing forerunner, nangunguna in a modern penology. O kasi, uh, ngayon, meron tayong yung mga 
prisoners pinagpapaaral education sa kanya compulsory education dapat uh, dapat ma-educate yung mga prisoners case work methods may trabaho hindi sila magtatambay lang doon sa prison may gagawin sila hanap buhay okay and of course in use of parole for indeterminate sentence sabi ko nga uh, ano ba yung mga indeterminate sentence yung mga sentence na hindi fix like for example 20 years and one day to 40 years so 15 years to something like that so hindi siya fix my minimum and maximum ter prison term in that case pwedeng parole in a minimum pa lang pwede na makalaya okay so nasa concept ni Zebulon Brockway na yan that is why his concept the Elmira reformatory is considered or uh, successfully garnered the title of forerunner of modern penology. Okay? So I hope na unawaan natin. Okay? So that's all in this particular uh, discussion. I hope you grasp the concept of reformatory movement. So those are the people behind what we have now in the prison system in the correctional system in the philippines because we are we because our correctional system here in the philippines are uh, is influenced in the western country like america and, U and the usa that's why we have the parole we have the provision we have the code conduct time allowance and whatever programs in the correctional system we have are were based in the western countries and uh, that and we need to understand we need to appreciate also those people behind these innovations okay so thank you uh, so much for the listening